I have my replacement UV sterilizer. This is the same one as I had before. It worked very well. This is the Coralife Turbo Twist 12X. It's the largest one that Coralife makes in this style. You get more surface area being covered by this unit with it not being as big since it goes in a spiral. So that's why it's called a Turbo Twist. So what I'm going to do is I'll have to get this thing cut and get this opened up. I need to shut my filtration down on that one side on that tank so that I can start plumbing this in. Um, like I said, one of the, the only good thing about this is now I have a spare bulb. This is the UV bulb from the other one that um, had the bad fitting. So, there's directions. Um, so, I am going to take this thing apart. I am going to um, start getting everything ready and then I will get this installed. So, there's a lot of parts to this thing. We got that bag of stuff. We have our fittings. Um, those are the pieces that hold it onto the piece more fittings. Here is your cord along with the unit itself. So I'm going to get this all put out here and then I will add more to this as I go. Okay, what you can do on this thing, this is the unit right here. It is pretty good sized. And the bottom, the out, let me see, this is be the inlet side. Um, it is stationary. It always comes from this one direction. But this one up here, on this end, you can undo the screw here, you can drop this, and you can turn this in any position within this circle so that you can have the outlet shooting a different direction than the inlet, which is kind of nice depending on what your system is. Mine, actually, the inlet and the outlet are going to be the same. So I will leave that the same. The other thing you can do, it does come with a bracket here that you can mount this on the edge of the tank. I will not be doing that. Um, it has these holders here, which I do do use, and you could actually put the suction cups on or whatever, but we'll see how those work. What I ended up doing last time, what worked the best, was just putting it on there with zip ties and holding it tight with black zip ties against one of the uh, metal supports on my on my stand. So probably won't end up using those. And the nice thing about this is these are your inlets and outlets and depending on what side, what diameter hose you have coming out of your return pump and such, you they have three different sizes here. So you pick out the ones that are the correct size, which are these two here and these will just get put into storage, you know, so that they're out of the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew these parts here, like so. I will use pipe tape, which is this stuff here, so that I can put pipe tape on there, make sure you put it the right direction, and that way there are no leaks. I also have, uh, this is my diameter hose that I'm using. These will go down on here. I will have to come up with some hose clamps. Um, I'm a little short on the hose clamp thing. They say you don't need them on this thing, but I, I just, kind of like to have them and I do have a few here I think I might have enough so anyway I'm just gonna keep working on this and try to get this thing together okay I put pipe tape on here this is the fitting that I do need I'm working on the return this is the in the, the water going in this is the water coming out this will be the water out this is the hose that's gonna go on here this is the one that I used last time it would have been better if it was a little bit longer so I did cut one a little bit longer and I had some of this hose around so I have the pipe tape on there here is my fitting Okay, what you do is you go ahead and you put this this locking nut all the way on. Once you get it all the way on there, you can then slide this hose onto this hose barb, and then you start backing this off until it's tight, and this will snug down over this hose and will make it tight. So it's kind of a little backwards from what you would think, but that's how you get that tight. Okay, I have the new UV sterilizer installed, same place where the other one was. Basically what happens is we have the water coming in onto the trapezoid into the top of this filter. This is the mechanical filtration. Then it goes into the biological filtration. This is the aerobic and that is the anaerobic. Then it goes into this chamber, which I have a protein skinner working on that. With a vent tank over there as a reservoir for the, for the sludge that comes out of it. The pipe then, the water then comes out. This hose hooks in tandem with the other filter on the other end. This one over here, this one right here, which is the one we're looking at, and that one there goes over 
and goes into the pump, and that's where it's being pumped. It comes out of the top of that pump and then makes a loop backward. It's kind of confusing, but it's that one back there. And I did buy a Y. Ys are how you pump. And the one end of the Y goes into the bottom of the UV sterilizer. It then comes out of the top of the UV sterilizer and goes into the return for the pump. Well, actually, this one down here, coming off of that Y, that is my phosphate reactor. So I have one of those on each end, a 150 on each end. So there's enough there to do 300 gallons, there's a 240. Everything's working fine, but there's no water leaking out of this. When you first turn the thing on, you do not want to have it plugged in. You turn it on and then you tilt it to get all the air out. Get it flowing, and once it's flowing properly without air, then without any you know restrictions, then you can turn it on. And once you plug it in, you can see that that light is. Now that light's brighter than the other one, which means my quartz sleeve needed to be cleaned. I hadn't cleaned it for a while, so I do have that um, in mind now for future use. I do need to clean that quartz sleeve. So anyway, I have my um, everything's back going again. Nothing's leaking, UV's back on, so this is Studnik Aquatics, and thanks for watching.